What about yourselves? Hey, uh, we're the Meringues. Uh, I'm Chad. I'm Amanda. Uh, I'm Alistair. And I'm Jackson. So, Can you hear us all right? Yes, indeed. We've got you. We've got you. So uh, how did the band get started? Tell us a bit about the band. Well, we started back in 2016. Amanda and I uh, went and saw Alabama Shakes um, playing, and July Talk was opening for, for them at the time. And uh, Amanda, as you always say, you went in there, the biggest Alabama Shakes fan, walked out the biggest July Talk fan, and said, we got to start a band. Um, we saw Peter walk out, punch himself in the face a few times. We said, we got to do that. We got to explore That's that. That's awesome. We got we to gotta figure that out. So, yeah, we started going. We wrote a couple songs. We were mostly doing, like, just small shows at the, at the start. Um, been through a few members, but you now we've got Alistair on drums, Jackson on bass, and uh, yeah, things things are rolling now. Fantastic, fantastic. So, uh, uh, each of you, each of you folks, tell us a little bit about your musical experience and musical history. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, sure. I, I've been playing drums uh, most of my life. I started lessons from uh, a neighbor who, who I was always hearing, so uh, I was fortunate to start young and, and play it uh, growing up and been in a few bands, and uh, the Meringues brought me in uh, a few years back, and, and it's just been unreal. It's been a, a real pleasure getting to, to play songs that I was already a fan of, and, and now we're writing new stuff, so, so it's been really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, and I started playing. I was a guitarist when I was about fourteen, so I started in high school. Um, I was kind of I switched over to the bass when I was about sixteen, and then just sort of played on my own. Uh, I started working with Ted uh, as I got older, and then we were talking about music. I found that he's in a band, and similar thing. I uh, was already a fan of the songs, and uh, my first experience was working with him, um, and it was a lot of fun, kind of learning how to be in a band with the this and another band that I was in at the time. And just getting to grow with that and do do all the stuff that we do. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Amanda. Um, yeah, I grew up thinking I was going to be a country music singer. Actually, somewhere along the way, I got really into punk. Um, I uh -huh. learned how to play mandolin and was in a cow punk style band where we hitchhiked across Canada and just lived out on the street and played music. And when I was playing in that band, I kind of met Ted, and now we're here with the Marines. Yeah, yeah, and music's been all through my family. I've had a couple uncles that play bass in bands and did some touring and stuff. And uh, growing up, there was always instruments around the house and stuff. And uh, so, yeah, it was just it just felt natural for me to get into music. Uh, I'd been in a few bands since I was like in my teens. Dropped out of college to be in a band. And uh, yeah, now uh, now we're doing this, and it's all felt like just the journey has just been you know leading us here. Fantastic, fantastic. So. Talk to us a little bit about the songwriting process. Well, songwriting in this group, I think, um, like for this album uh, that we're that we're releasing soon, Pavlova's Dog. Um, a lot of it, a few of them had been played uh, through the band. We'd been playing them live for a couple of years, um, and some of the older songs we passed over when we were making the album because we had written new ones, which were mostly just each of us kind of uh, either showing up with a part that fit another part that someone else had showed us. Like if I show up with a guitar riff, Jackson goes, okay, I can write a bass line for that. Um, Alistair gets, you know, jamming behind us. And then the lyric writing, uh, Amanda and I, a lot of times it's like we try to do this back and forth thing. So we're either giving each other space, like I'm going to sing here and then I'm going to leave two lines blank and you do whatever you do. Or sometimes uh, what happens a lot, uh, I'll just I'll just hum or like uh, whistle or something during where Amanda would be singing uh, if I've written a part. And then uh, sometimes she's like, I can't get that, like the humming part out of my head. So, but then she'll step away and always comes back with something uh, great. So it, it's very, I, I would say, a collaborative thing uh, between us. Um, if we're showing up, uh, yeah, like if a lot of the times, you know, they do start with the guitar part. Uh, I don't like to say I wrote them, though. I think we all wrote them. Um, if I'm just showing up first with a guitar player, it's because I'm the guitar player. That's the only reason I've, I've brought it forward. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So, uh, talk to us a bit about your musical heroes and influences. Uh, you know? uh, I mean, I, I grew up uh, really loving Sum 41. Uh, first CD I bought was them. First song I played live was them. Uh, I've seen them, uh, I think, four times now. Uh, Really, really love that group, and uh, for sure, that's that's been uh, my biggest influence. Yeah, I think my first 
base hero was probably John Paul Jones. I listened to a lot of Led Zeppelin through my dad as a kid. Um, what kind of got me more into punk and more into later music, like the 90s, is where I'd say the biggest influences are, was Ben Folds 5. Uh, their bass player has this aggression that comes from there being no guitarist in that band, and I feel even in this band, I'm always trying to kind of, you know, lay down the low end, but also have my own voice and be able to cut through when I want to or need to. So those are those are my two big ones. Yeah, I grew up uh, very influenced by Canadian punk bands, so DOA, Deglo Abortions, and more recently, as Ted has already named, uh, July Talk is a huge influence for me and the Martins. Yeah, um, I'd say, uh, sorry, I, I, uh, yeah, I grew up listening to a lot of classic rock. Um, yeah, my dad's album collection, a lot of Stones, a lot of Beatles, mm -hmm. Deep Purple, um, lots of that stuff. And always knew I kind of wanted to do something like that, like uh, make some music. You know, Lou Reed was big, uh, influential for me in songwriting and uh, turning into more of the front person uh, singer in the band rather than like I play bass for years in bands and you know, would always try and be energetic and stuff like that on stage, but really uh, forming into the front man and, you know, shared a front person responsibility in this group with Amanda. But, uh, yeah, just breaking that barrier came from, from greats like Mick Jagger and Freddie Mercury and, uh, you know, Janis Joplin, like these great uh, front people that are just, <coughs> excuse me, just commanding the stage. So um, what are some of your goals for the rest of the year as far as the band and everything goes? Um, I'd say, uh, you know, we've got a few shows booked uh, here with the Meringues. We've got our uh, album release show here in Kingston, Ontario, where we're from. A uh, big hometown release party. We're opening for DOA, um, and we're releasing the album September 16th. Uh, that show is happening September 12th, four days before the album drops, but we're going to be selling vinyls at the show. It's the first time we've ever had our music on vinyl, uh, like LPs, anything like that. So it's it's really cool. We did a CD last time, and obviously digital. you got to do digital nowadays. Um, so this album, you can stream it uh, September 16th, but we're going to have these vinyls uh, ready too. And then the goal beyond that is just kind of keep playing shows, hit new cities. Uh, we're doing a bunch of Ontario and uh, Quebec dates uh, here in Canada, and uh, just to the end of the year. But beyond that, yeah, I think we would just want to keep playing more and more and write another album. <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say, our goal for 2025 is to play further outside of Ontario and Quebec. So we're hoping to maybe hit some of the coasts in Canada and maybe even dip down into the States a little bit. We'll see how that goes. For sure. And I think I think even Europe has been has been tossed around the idea of a European <laughs> tour. So that might be a, a potential goal that we're working on, too. That's awesome. That's awesome. So um, if people want to find your music online, where is the best spot for them? to uh for, to find your stuff um we've got a we've got a big hub right on our own website the uh but yeah anywhere you stream music uh you know the meringues spelled just like a lemon meringue pie um the meringues if you search that up you know uh, you will find us uh you can even google us it gives you right to our new videos um we've got a new, brand new video for our song royalty and our song shambles which are off the new album those are out now um so yeah wherever you're streaming music wherever you're um you know, watching videos like YouTube probably, but but definitely check out our website. We got some cool things happening on there too. Fantastic! Well, you guys are amazing. Thanks for making as much time as you have for us today. Before we let oh, you go, you. Um, talk to us a bit about your social media, how people can find you there, what the following's like, all that. Yeah, um, yeah, we're on all the ones: uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook. X, formerly Twitter. Um, of course, uh, we're on TikTok, too. And it's all uh, either The Meringues or Meringues Band. Um, but yeah, if you're searching Meringues, a lot of times you get images of Meringues and, um, and Lemon Meringue Pies and all that. But Meringues Band, if you get that in there in your searches, uh, that's going to get you right to our social media and everything. Fantastic. Well, you guys are amazing. Thanks for making, making some time for us chatting with us today and we will talk to you soon thanks guys no oh, you're amazing too thank, thank you. you so much appreciate it there they go and uh that is going to be a break we've got more coming up on the other side you are listening to the world famous Jiggy